We are at the 2012 Republican Convention in Tampa, Florida, here with Dave Bossy, the president of Citizens United. Dave, nice to meet you, sir. Good to see you. Nice to be here. Thank you very much. So people just say Citizens United like people are supposed to understand it. It's, 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 sometimes it's a hard concept to understand. Explain Citizens United. Right. Well, we're almost as uh, big as the NRA is now, <laughs> and we're, we're working really hard. Yes. Uh, you know, Wayne's a good friend, and uh, I'm a, a member of the NRA and proud to be. I uh, signed my nine-year-old son up uh, just a couple weeks ago, so he's uh, going to be a lifelong member as well. Look, Citizens United, um, like the NRA, has always been a believer that if you don't have the First Amendment, you can't have the Second Amendment. And so we believe, uh, as part of the conservative movement, that uh, the left has always dominated political speech, whether it was through MoveOn.org and the George Soroses of the world, the unions having unfettered access to their members' money and spending them on elections. We felt that we needed to defeat McCain-Feingold in order to level the playing field. I went uh, and made a documentary film on Hillary Clinton and put it out and wanted to put it out during an election cycle, which is, by the way, when people are paying attention, kind of the marketplace of ideas, if you will. So the FEC told me I couldn't do it, and they told me it would be a criminal violation if I did it, punishable by a prison term for making a documentary film and advertising it. And I just wasn't going to put up with that, so I sued them uh, and uh, took several years. But in 2010, we won the case. Of course, the president, a week, at, a week later, attacks us during the State of the Union address. And when Samuel Alito, Justice Alito, uh, famously mouthed the words, not true, and made history once again, it's, it, it is an important case. Uh, our First Amendment rights are vital to the success of our democracy. The American people are fundamentally incredibly smart. They make good decisions, and they should be trusted by the political class to make good decisions. And that's really what this is all about. The left never wants to have more speech because they can't win the debate. They can't win on Election Day if the American people hear the ideas of both sides equally. And that's what this is all about. What we are doing is allowing a level playing field to allow information to freely flow. And if it can do that, the American people will decide. They, we may not win, we may lose, but it won't be because they were lied to or they were deceived or they were put upon by a political class that didn't want them to learn uh, the, the important information. So the result of the Supreme Court's uh, case said what? What, what, uh, did, what did it allow you and what does it allow uh, political speech? Um, Citizens United, the case now allows any American entry uh, into the political process. Uh, we Trust me when I say the FEC still imposes incredible burdens on the American people. Your average person trying to enter the political arena has to hire a battery of lawyers and accountants for, and failure to properly disclose, to properly regulate yourself under the arduous and onerous restrictions um, is dangerous because they will come after you. Uh, however, what, th what we did was allow people to participate freely. So th it created what's known as the super PACs now. That was a byproduct of our case. The, so American Crossroads and Americans for Prosperity and, and uh, American Action Network, all terrific organizations didn't exist before our ruling and now do. So we're very excited about, uh, about our prospects to l that level the playing field. Citizens United... Um, is going to have a film out this this year uh, in September and just an, actually in a couple of weeks uh, where it will be premiering on television mm -hmm. and which was a violation right, of right, the law right. so now we've made a documentary film on Barack Obama called the hope and the change mm -hmm. it is a film of 40 Democrats and independents mm -hmm. who all voted for Barack Obama in 2008 and are now yeah. disillusioned and it is a tremendous film Sean Hannity did an hour special on the film um, very recently uh, it's going to be re-airing, so I hope people can look for it on Fox. It's going to be re-airing this weekend as well um, uh, and, and throughout the election. So we're really excited about, uh, about those opportunities. But people, we're going to be making an announcement very soon. People are going to be able to see it in their homes, uh, on, on, on their televisions, and that's a very exciting thing. When you talk about the super PACs, it also created Democratic super PACs, but it's not like they, that you're mad that there's Democratic super PACs and you want, to, you want Citizens United to end. You're fine with this political speech on both sides, correct? It's equal. I right. fought for the rights of, I, I despise what Michael Moore stands for. I think that he is, you know, a, a, a propagandist, if you will. I think that his films d serve a political purpose. 
but I believe in his right to do it. Why not? I mean, look, I disagree with it, but I can then make a film to rebut what he does. And so it's, it's important that it, what our case did is treat everybody equally. The protected class is no longer a protected class. And that's, that's the most important thing. Your average American can participate as freely as they would like. So you guys are in the news again because on an online chat, President Obama suggested a constitutional amendment to overturn Citizens United. That's got to be pretty flattering, first of all. <laughs> but do you think that would ever happen? Of course. Look, first of all, he's, you know, I'm going to have to register President Obama on my next FEC report as an in-kind contribution because he's a gift that keeps on giving. Yes. So I think that it's just a pretty <laughs> remarkable thing. I think uh, the FEC should look closely at my FEC report next time. Yes. Um, look, I, it's a surreal thing. To be candid, Citizens United has now grown into this political lexicon that, you know, almost rivaling the NRA. Not quite, but almost. We're working hard on it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a household phrase. It is. It's amazing. It is it's amazing the, the amount of people who know about it. Yeah. Now, it's also amazing the amount of disinformation that they know about it because the left that controls the debate uh, only wants to talk about arduous corporate money that is taking over the political process. And you can now corporations can give unlimited sums to campaigns. Guess what? Before Citizens United, corporations could give exactly zero to campaigns. Since Citizens United, corporations can give exactly zero to <laughs> campaigns. It did not affect that whatsoever. Right. Corporations before Citizens United could give uh, to 501c4s. They could give to lots of organizations. Uh, now they have the ability to participate. Some of it, uh, uh, most of it is disclosed uh, gifts. Super PACs are disclosed. And guess what? We're not finding corporations give. You know why? For the most part, they're rich individuals giving, but that's not corporations. That's rich individuals. Uh, they can do what they want. Corporations don't give, and I, I, I use this as an analogy. Corporations, big corporate uh, CEOs, are inherently conservative. Not politically conservative. They're conservative about keeping their jobs. Yeah. They're conservative about not having a board of directors or stockholders coming after them, whether they give on the left or the right. You, if you're the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, you like your corner office on the 87th floor, and you love your corporate jet, and you love the lifestyle, and you're going to give that up because of a political gift that upsets 50%, whichever side you're giving, you're upsetting 50% sure. of your base. Yeah. And so I think that that's a bad, I think it's just bad policy. And by the way, you haven't seen it. It's just, there's no truth to it. So the left just bandies about these things that are not true. The mainstream media never talks about it. They don't investigate it. They don't care because it fits, because the mainstream media was part of that protected class. They have the media exemption. They, the New York Times and the Washington Post and, and ABC and NBC have forever been able to dominate the news. They've been do able to dominate the content, what people hear and how they hear it. And now with our ruling, they can't anymore. And that's so dangerous to them. If you want to find out more just about Citizens United, they have questions about it and they also want to see these videos and, and watch your movies, where do they go? Uh, people, I would love people to visit citizensunited.org. They can see all about our organization, and our, all of our films are up there. Uh, Thehopeandthechange.com uh, is our film on Barack Obama, and uh, occupyunmasked.com is our film that's just premiering today uh, that uh, is on the Occupy Wall Street movement. It is a war film. It really is a war film about the insidious underside of the Occupy Wall Street movie movement. And the funny part is Mark Cuban... Uh, the owner of um, uh, Magnolia Films just bought this film, and it'll be in theaters opening around the country on September 21st, so we're really excited about that. Well, when you look at the success of 2016 by Dinesh D'Souza, there is a, there is a uh, craving for this yes, type of information. Is. Yes, there is, and we're going to, we provide, con we're the biggest, Citizens United Productions is the largest provider of conservative content in the country, and, and we're proud of that, and we're looking forward to continue. David Bossy, Citizens United. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for having me.